Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how we can easily automate the execution of multiple Python scripts. We'll do this with a cron job inside of a Wayscript layer. Let's get started. Starting out within my Wayscript layer, I have these two Python files that I want to execute. I have this FileMaker1 and FileMaker2. In this example, I'm just doing something visual by writing a file, that way we can see it whenever it works, but your Python script can be whatever you want it to be. So once we have the two scripts that we want to execute, what we can do is we can go and create that cron job. We'll do that by making sure that the triggers panel is open by clicking the lightning bolt at the bottom and clicking this plus. We'll choose cron and now we see a command to run. This command to run will just be the execution of both of these scripts in one line. So we'll have python and then file maker one dot pi. Then we'll use two and signs. So and and then python file maker 2.py. Once we have that set up, we can choose our cron tab here. Let's say we want to run this every day at 1 a.m. We'll do it like that. Perfect. So once we have all of that set up, you can see this note here that it must be deployed to production for it to actually execute. So let's do that. We will do that by clicking this deploy and clicking deploy here. We'll confirm it and this will make our deployment live and our cron tab fire. So at this point, we have this all set up and it will automatically execute. If we want to see the result before having to wait until my cron tab fires, we can click on test here. And that should create those two files by using that command. And you see it does. Perfect. So that's one way to do this. And I want to show you one more. I'll go ahead and delete these files. That way we can verify that the next one works as well. Another way to do this, if you have more complex interactions with your Python scripts or your files, we can create a new file. We'll say new file and we will say jobs.sh. And we'll put all the jobs that we want to execute whenever a cron trigger fires here. So in our case, this is the same command we're using in our trigger already. So I will copy that and paste it in. Now our new command to run within our trigger will be bash and then jobs.sh and the name of that file. Great. So we'll have to redeploy this to make sure it's working again. So once that finishes deploying, we'll test it out again and we'll go ahead and manually run it once. Once we click that test button, you see that these two files populate. So this is working just how the same one was before. I wanted to show you this method because there's a lot of cool things that we can do using this file. In this case, there's just two and signs, and that means we're just running these two files. However, if you wanted to do something more fancy and say only run FileMaker2 if FileMaker1 does not terminate successfully, you can do all sorts of different commands using bash with something that looks like this. There's a bunch more of these, and I can't cover all of them in this video, but I'll leave a resource down below so you can check it out and use it for yourself. If you have any questions about this script or any others, please let us know, and we'll be happy to help. Until next time.